During the Cretaceous period, large carnivorous dinosaurs were widespread. Many of them came from South America, more specifically Argentina. In fact, Argentina has its own family of megatheropods, the Tiganotosaurines. These were some of the largest pharopods to ever exist. Today we will talk about the earliest member of what is the most elite group of land carnivores ever. In 2005, researchers uncovered a new Giganotosaurini family member in Argentina. Relying on just two incomplete specimens and numerous isolated teeth for documentation. Its name, Tyrannotitan, the Tyrant Titan. Tyrannotitan could grow up to 13 meters of 42.6 feet in length and weigh over 7 metric tons. This fearsome predator thrived during the early Cretaceous period, specifically within the Aptian stage, dating back around to 121.4 to 113 million years ago. Contrary to its name, Tyrannotitan did not share close genetic ties with the Tyrannosaurus. Instead, it found its place within the Giganotosaurines, as already discussed. The Giganotosaurines are a subgroup of the Carcharodontosauridae family, which in case is a subgroup of the Carcharodontosauria. Speaking about size, Tyrannotitan even stands out among Carcharodontosaurians, outsizing almost all of them. Other large Carcharodontosaurians include Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Chiganodosaurus, Mapiosaurus, Meraxes and potentially Chilantisaurus and Seats. Chiganotosaurus, Mapiosaurus, Tyrannotitan and Meraxes form the smaller clade known as Chiganotosaurini. These four predators ranged anywhere from 4 to over 8 metric tons in weight, making it the most elite subgroup of pharopods ever. The vast territories required by such massive predators raise questions about whether an entire continent could support multiple species simultaneously. Thus, it's plausible that Tyrannotitan represents a unique lineage that evolved over millions of years, as the most ancient and foundational member of Giganotosaurini. Tyrannotitan might have even served as the direct ancestor to its later kin. In most regards, Tyrannotitan shared common traits with other large Carcharodontosaurids, but possessed its own distinct characteristics. Carcharodontosaurids were notable for their deep skulls, which were proportionally larger compared to other pharopod clades. Unlike the robust skulls of the Tyrannosaurines, Carcharodontosaurids had thinner, less sturdy skulls. However, their teeth compensated for this with a broad profile from the side and fin from the front, equipped with serrations ideal for slicing through flesh. Tyrannotitan in particular sported thicker and straighter teeth. While most Chiganotosaurini members had pneumatic or hollow vertebrae in their hips and tails to reduce weight, Tyrannotitan lacked this feature, rendering its tail comparatively heavier. The neural spines on its tail vertebrae were notably taller, possibly to support the larger muscles needed for its quite weighty tail. Tyrannotitan featured very small arms compared to the other Giganotosaurini members, while appearing to exhibit stronger musculature. However, its primary hunting tools obviously remained its teeth. While small sauropods and juveniles of larger species posed minimal challenge to most large pharopods, Tyrannotitan coexisted with Patagotitan. This behemoth is estimated to weigh a staggering 55 metric tons. Adult Patagotitan would have been an imposing adversary for most carnivores, including Tyrannotitan. Yet Carcharodontosaurids seem to specialize in hunting such massive prey. Flesh grazing would have been the best way to hunt here if the Tyrant Titan ever dared to attack an adult Patagotitan. However, there's a slight possibility that Tyrannotitan hunted in packs or much more likely unorganized groups. This assumption comes from the discovery of at least seven individuals of the relative Mapusaurus from a bone bed. However, an animal the size and strength of Tyrannotitan was already a formidable force on its own. In the case of hunting in solitude, Tyrannotitan would focus on targeting young and juvenile sauropods. 
During Tyranno Titan's existence, Argentina was characterized by a moist, flooded plain. Apart from Patago Titan, our knowledge of the contemporary fauna alongside Tyranno Titan remains limited. The few other species identified from the Aptian stage in Argentina include smaller sauropods, the primitive Cerrados or Geniodectes, and terrestrial crocodile ancestors known as Perosaurids. Yet, this time period was ruled by the Tyranno Titan, who was one of the largest and strongest pharaohs ever, and his legacy should last for many more a million years, as he started the age of the most elite club of mega predators ever. That's it for the video of the exploration of Tyranno Titan. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. To stay updated with Megaraptor, consider subscribing to the channel. You can also check out my Instagram and Twitter. Links are provided in the video description. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.